Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to read you Juni B First Grader Turkeys We Have Loved and Eden and Other Things Was Not by Barbara Park. And this is the contents. So there are like our 12 chapters and I will be reading one each night until the book ends. So I'll be reading it. And you could like check it out and like listen to it. But this is so we're just gonna stop at Thankful Bags chapter three. So let's start. Chapter one The Contest. Contest Monday. Dear First Grade Journal, today is the month of Thanksgiving. At Thanksgiving, we draw a lot of turkeys. Also, we draw pilgrims and Native Americans. They're usually eating at a table both yeah i forgot to show you the picture and the next one where i left off was both of them seem to enjoy squash i do not actually understand pilgrims their costume look hottish and sweatish this week room one is making a list of the stuff we are thankful for after we get done we will put our list in a school contest as a room with the best thankful list will win. Also, we are having a Thanksgiving feast on Wednesday. Our families get to come to school. Thanksgiving is a love of your friend, Junie B. First Grader. Well, that was just her writing in her doo journal. So, now this is what Barbara Park wrote. I closed my journal and thought about squash. Block. I said out loud, I hate squash. Made it a frown. Shh, Junie Jones, can't you see that I'm still writing? She said, May is a girl who sits next to me. I'm not thankful for her. Just then, my teacher, Mr. Scary, stood up at his desk. Boys and girls, it's time to get started on our thankful list for a school contest. He said, can everyone please put... Your journal's away. Yes, we shouted back. Yes, yes, yes. Then all of the children shimmed his journal shot. Very happy. Slam, slam, bam, slam, bam, slam, slam, bam. Mr. Scary sucked his cheeks at us. And we he made us open our journals again and we had to shut them quietly. It was some sort of slamming lesson, I believe. Finally he moved on. Okay, last night's homework was to break down some of the things that you were thankful for, he said. He picked up a piece of chalk. Today, I will start printing our thankful list on the board. He said, we will work on the list today and tomorrow. Then, and then we will enter the school thankful contest. A boy named Roger raced into Do we get a prize if we win? He asked. I always try if there's a prize involved. Mr. Scary did a frown at him. We're not doing this for a prize, Roger, he said. We're doing this to celebrate the things we are thankful for. Roger tapped his fingers on his desk. So is that a yes or a no on the prize? He asked. Mr. Scary stood there another minute. Then all of a sudden, a smile came on his face. We did not expect that. Okay, fine, Roger, he said. I was going to let this be a surprise if we won. But yes, there is a prize for winning the contest. All of them won, perked up off her ears. Because who doesn't love prizes, of course? What is it? What is it? We called out. What is a prize? Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Miss Scary walked back and forth, very thinking. He said he was really not supposed to tell us the surprise, but then... Ha, he did a wink. And he told us anyway, the winning class is going to get a homemade pumpkin pie, he said. He smiled really big. And here's the best part. The pie will be made up, made be made by our very own lunch lady, Mrs. Glady Gusman. After that, all of the children just sat there and we didn't say any words. Instead of our faces kind of turned circus. And we slumped way down in our chair. Finally, I raised my hand. Pumpkin pie makes me vomit, I said. My hermit nodded. 
Me too, he said. Pumpkin pie makes me vomit too. Me three, said my older other friend, Shirley. Me four, said a boy named Lenny. My grandmother's pumpkin pie. His sister made my mouth make a big wad of goop block. Roger looked at Mr. Scary. A prize that makes us vomit does not seem like much to shoot for, he said. Mr. Scary sat down at his desk and rubbed his head. Okay, let's just forget about the pumpkin pie. He said, really, this is a contest. It's not about winning a pie. This is a contest about appreciating all the wonderful things in the world that we are thankful for. He looked around the room. If we're lucky enough to win, the real prize is, well, well be how proud we will feel about doing our best, he said. A first grade class has never won this contest before, but I think this class is a great chance. You are definitely the most creative first graders I've ever had. Roger stood up. Now that, I believe, he said, my brother Rodney was in your class last year, and Rodney is a doll. Mr. Scary closed his eyes, and he rubbed his head more. This was not going to be a good day, morning, probably. Chapter 2, Some Thankfuls. Mr. Scary moved on again. Okay, boys and girls, let's really get started now. If you please take your homework papers, we'll begin sharing our ideas. Who would like to go first? I quick pulled out my homework. Me, 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 I shouted, because I have four excellent thankfuls, and I'm not even kidding. Then I sprang up like a spring, and I started to read my thankfuls. First, I'm thankful for turkey. I love things. I love it. I love at Thanksgiving. Second, I enjoy the gravy. Plus, number three, I'm thankful for the cranberry jelly that comes in a can. Only, even when you take it out of a can, it still keeps looking exactly like the can. I looked at my teacher, Dennis. Then, oh, sorry, that was not in it. That stuff is like magic. I said, I do not know how farmers grow it in that shape. Mr. Scary stared at me a real long time. I looked back at my lips. Oh, and there's, here is my one favorite one of all I said. I am thankful for the kind of biscuit that comes in a tube. And then you bash them onto the counter. And then the come exploding out and everyone jumps plus all my brother brother always starts to go i can really bless a fun bunch of biscuits my friend herbert jumped out of his seat i can't believe it junie b i am thankful for those biscuits too he said he quick grabbed his homework page and held it up look See, it's right here on my paper, exploding biscuits. After that, me and Perb did a high five, low five, medium five, and we also did a fist bump. A fist bump is when you knock your knuckles together. Sometimes it can be painful. May threw her head at us. Oh, no, no, no. She said, that cannot be true. Both of you did not write that by yourself. You copied each other. I know you did. Who in the world is thankful for exploding biscuits? All of the children thought for a second. Then one by one, they all started to shout. Well, I'm just going to show you the picture right now. Before I go on to the next page, see, there's Herb and Jeannie B doing a fist bump. That's make frowning faces. I am, I am. I am too, they shouted. My friend named Sheldon Puss sprang up from his chair. Me too, he called. One time I ate six exploding biscuits right out of the tube. And they weren't even cooked yet. All of our eyes pop out of our eyes because that was the greatest exploding biscuit story we ever heard. We looked back at Mr. Scary. His eyes were stuck on Sheldon. 
for fascinating little boy, Sheldon Potts, he said. Yes, I know you keep telling me that, said Sheldon. There's a scary smile, then he turned to the boy. And he wrote the words, thankful list. Okay, Junie B, how about if you pick on your top two favorites, and we'll start the list off with them. I stared at my paper, very thinking. Then I told him my two favorites, and Mr. Scared pushed them on the board. Cranberry jelly in the can, exploding biscuits. He took a step back. Well, just as I saw, we're off to an interesting start, he said. He turned back to room one. As we continue, if you brought along this, please just pick two things that you're the most thankful for, okay? Okay, we shot it back. My friend named Lee Lee waved his hand to go next. Next. All right, Lee Lee, your turn. Tell us. Tell us the number one thing in your life that you are the most thankful for. Leany yelled out, Nipsey Doodles, he said really loud. I love Nipsey Doodles. Mr. Scary face went funny. He did not move for a minute. Then finally his eyes dropped right to the top of his head. Nipsey Doodles one, he repeated. Kind of quiet. Really that's the number one thing in your life that you're thankful for, Nipsey Duel. Then he nodded. Then he checked on his homework just to be sure. Yes, he said. Nipsey Duel is number one. He smiled. They are tasty little cheese. Yeah. Unlike any other, Mr. Scary nodded very slow. Yes, uh, I know, Lini. I've heard, I've heard the chimerical and i'm sure that they are very tasty but just of curiosity what's number two on your list leaning face started to beam number two rainbow sprinkles he yelled all room one started to clap because who because the whole wide world loves rainbow sprinkles of course mr scary didn't move again then finally, he picked up his chalk and at, he added Lini's two singles to the list. And Nipsey Doodles and Rainbow Sprinkles. He stepped back and took a big breath. Alrighty, let's take another look at what we have so far. He said, we have four delicious food items, don't we? But just remember, there are other things to be thankful for, too. Right, boys and girls? Right, we said. We thought and thought, like, what? We said, Mr. Terry Jumbo. Well, for one thing, in our country, we're lucky to have freedom, he said. Freedom is one of the reasons the programs came to America. He looked around the room. Did anyone put freedom on your thankful list? All the children looked at this list, and every sister had no photos to go. But only six, he said. We don't really have any freedom. He thought for a second. I'm not even allowed to cross the street by myself. Me either, said Charlie. I have to stay in my own front yard. Joe's raised his hand. I have to go to bed at 7.30. And half of, half of the time it's still light outside, he said. Herbert stood up too. Well, wait till you hear this one. I have to eat cooked carrots or I don't get a cookie after dinner he said just then Sheldon slapped his hand on his desk and he shouted really loud I and I am forced to take a multivitamin he hollered does that sound like William Mr. Sherry quick held up his hand okay okay calm down everyone I get it get it he said, he looked back at our thankful list. Then he nodded at us. Very thoughtful. Boys and girls, you are absolutely right. You are first graders and you cannot be thankful for whatever you want. He said, 
this, this list should be exactly what you want it to be, not me. The contest judges, not anyone else but you, he smiled. Thanks for showing me that, he said. You're welcome, we said back. We are a polite group. Mr. Scary looked happy again. All right, who would like to go next, he said. And remember, whatever you say will be perfectly fine with me. Sheldon jumped up. Toilet paper, I am thankful for toilet paper. He shouted, Mr. Scary, eyes got big and wide. But he quick snapped out of it and printed the words on the white. Number five, toilet paper. He said, shouting, grinned, really excited. We're going to win this contest for sure, he said. He did thumbs up at room one. Did all the thumbs up, except actually not Mr. Scary. So, so this is the end of the chapter. Next chapter is going to be three thankful bags, and I'll read it tomorrow night. Bye.